Hi everyone, I'm Shalaka Pawar and you are watching The True Gourmet. I know a lot of us have been at home since a really long time and it's important for us but somewhere we probably miss going out for movies and grabbing that tub of popcorn. Well, don't worry. While being in the safety of your house, you can still enjoy this. Just catch up on a movie on Netflix and make your own caramel popcorn. Yes. Today I'm going to tell you how to make caramel popcorn that tastes exactly like how they do in the multiplexes. So let's get started. Now let's look at the ingredients first. I first have a popcorn packet you can buy whichever one that you get in the market. I'm using Act 2, the smaller packet which sort of makes 1/4 cup of corn kernels. So since the raw corn kernels were of 1/4 cup, I have taken double the quantity of brown sugar that is half a cup of brown sugar 2 tablespoons of condensed milk 1 tablespoon of butter 1/8 teaspoon or just say a pinch of baking soda vanilla essence some salt and this is how the popcorns look like when you just you know pop this in the microwave or just just follow the instructions that are written at the back of the packet and make these popcorns just like these these are plain now we'll see how to convert them into caramel popcorns now on a high flame i'm going to add in butter and with this i'm also going to add in brown sugar and just spread the sugar like this in the pan and once you've done this do not touch the sugar let it caramelize on its own for some time and then we will just mix it together later but first of all just let the sugar sit and caramelize on its own now once the sugar starts melting a bit i'm going to reduce the flame to half and then i'm going to mix this really well you don't want to burn the caramel and now on a low flame i'm just going to let this melt really well this is completely melted i'm going to add in a pinch of salt because we are trying to make salted caramel and then with this i'm going to add in on very low flame again our condensed milk just be a little careful because this might splutter especially when you're mixing it so i'm going to mix this quickly look at this it starts its spluttery and once this mixes well you don't have to keep on cooking this for a long time you have to just quickly switch off the flame like this and now whatever we are going to do after this stage it has to be done off the gas off the heat right here so just going to mix this well now once this is done i'm going to add in like half a teaspoon of vanilla in this here you go the vanilla essence is going to add so much flavor you're going to love it mix the vanilla essence i'm going to add like a small pinch of baking soda in this and you'll see how there'll be a reaction and the color of the caramel and everything changes slowly look it starts looking a little different and the reason why we add baking soda is because you know when you mix your popcorn in this it's not going to be gluggy and thick it will rather make it lighter here you go i have mixed this really well and now in this beautiful caramel mixture i'm going to add in these popcorns and now mix these popcorns in the caramel it's going to be sticky it might look messy but don't worry just keep on working with it look how beautifully this has coated really well now i know it looks super tempting but please don't touch this at this stage because the caramel is super hot and you're going to burn yourself so don't do this let's just move on to the next stage i have taken a baking tray and in this baking tray i'm going to add the popcorn don't worry it's sticky it looks sticky at this stage but don't worry about it just just put it i'm going to spread this through in my entire tray the oven was already preheated at 100 degrees celsius for 10 minutes and then the popcorn go in it for another 100 degrees celsius for 10 minutes and i'll show you how they look like when it's done okay sorry guys by mistake i said bake it for 10 minutes sorry it was preheat for 10 minutes and bake it for 1 hour at 100 degrees celsius and once that is done your popcorns are ready like these I will of course bake them cool them completely and here they are ready to eat. So just take a bowl fill these with these popcorns and my friend
caramel popcorn are ready to eat. I hope this recipe brings some joy, some positivity and lots of deliciousness in your life. I'll see you guys in the next episode of True Gourmet. Till then, bye-bye.